Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to your Lake Fort Guide. Got another episode of the Guides Network. Got a brand new first time guide as a guest, Mr. Jeff Partridge. Going to drop some knowledge on you folks today. You know, Jeff's been fishing this lake for a long time. Heck, he started fishing this lake before I was born, actually, right as the lake was being built. And uh, he's going to talk to us about a technique that's even older than that, right, Jeff? It is, you know, and everybody's heard it's the Texas rig. Right. It uh, It's a fail safe. Um, I believe you can catch them on Texas rig 365 days a year. Mm -hmm. I believe it. 100% couldn't yep. agree more. It's probably caught more fish than every other artificial bass fishing lure combined throughout the history of time. I would it agree. probably has by just, you know, your average weekend angler. It's a really simple thing. Good for beginners, but great for experienced guys to get bites when they need them. And, and, you know, in the fall on Lake Fork specifically, when we come straight out of that turnover, when we just start getting in the fall, boy, that Texas rig can really shine in some shallow water. And I think that's what we're going to talk about today, right? Yes, absolutely. Right. little fall Texas rig with plastic worms. You guys, stay tuned. Hey guys, Jeff Partridge coming to you here on the Guides Network. I'm going to talk to you today about early fall Texas rigging with plastic worms. The uh, 7 1 6 cents heavy action with a moderate tip with 20 pound fluorocarbon for line, 5 16 tungsten with the hitchhiker screw lock. On a number five out. What is a hitchhiker screw lock? Yeah. What that is, it's a it's a cork screw that you put on your eye hook, and it helps you uh, use the bait longer. It keeps it longer. So you buy that separate and attach that to your hooks. You do. You buy those at the bait sh the tackle store, and uh, they come in a package of two different sizes. This is the larger one. For bigger baits, the smaller ones is smaller diameter. Just looks like a corkscrew. Just like a screw lock on a swim bait hook. That's hey. exactly right. Just attach it to any hook. This is my go-to number one plastic bait of all times, a seven inch Berkeley Power Worm. Black in color. Um, usually I'll throw it at first thing in the morning or late in the evening or anytime I'm night fishing. Um, the ribbon tail gives it a little more action, maybe uh, catch the attention of some fat, some fish that ordinarily may not. And uh, depending on what time of year, like in the summertime maybe, or deep winter, I will use a 10 inch. This particular worm is a smash tech, red shad black, ribbon tail. Both excellent choices for Texas rig plastic worm fishing for creature baits my go-to definitely baby brush hog this one is particularly a pumpkin seed uh, like watermelon green pumpkin green red uh, watermelon green orange uh, California 420 and also June bug they come in many colors so basically green brown and purple that's correct <laughs> yes that's correct so I'll, I'll choose a brush hog over a power worm in the in, depending on structures but if i'm where there's a whole lot of grass around i will go to a brush hog if uh the uh, the grass is say three foot deep and yet the uh the water may be five foot deep so you got a bunch of grass on the bottom uh, a real light sinker the light as you can get so that it doesn't fall down deep into the grass and then uh, 
uh, a, one little thing that's a little different if if i was fishing this and there was no grass but i still had clear water say to five foot four foot five foot i would probably use a bigger weight because that way it gives the fish less time to see this cause more of a reaction bite bite it the quick the clearer the water the faster you want it to move that's exactly right the clearer the water the faster you want it to sink and uh jeff let me ask you a question uh as far as choosing a brush hog over the seven inch worm do you find that maybe sometimes you start in low light conditions with the worm and then as it brightens up go to the brush hog because it's a smaller profile that is perfectly said absolutely correct absolutely larger profile for uh, maybe uh, uh darker conditions or cloudy conditions at night smaller profile for when the sun comes up bright sunshiny days absolutely it's really neat that you say that because i noticed that you know most of your worm color choices are really dark and more, most of your your brush hog color choices are, are really more translucent or lighter colors or more natural colors correct so it's kind of funny how that all works into the same deal there it, it has worked for me for years that's right all right but well hey if you don't mind let's uh, get up on the front deck and let you make a couple casts and you can kind of show us how you retrieve them. so in this particular application um, there's no need to really cast long ways because i can pitch this far i'm going to start out at, at the edge of one of these grass beds real close by <clears throat> just got a little bit on the edge so i let it fall down and you can tell by watching your line when it falls i'll let it sit there for four or five seconds are you going to watch that slack to make sure it's Absolutely. done falling yeah yeah if you yeah. see your lack slack take off cross his eyes that means he's going it always right got to watch your slack when you're texas yes. rigging yes so as i'm retrieving it i'm just kind of hopping it through the it does work folks that's a grinnel that's an ugly grinnel that's a whole grinnel don't put him in a boat well, you got a fight on your hands now. <laughs> not exactly what I wanted. Well, folks, that's not the target species of the day, but it was a bite. <laughs> it was fun, and it felt really good. Hey, I'm going to hand you some pliers. You just get in there and flip him off. Okay. Oh, toothy critter. Yeah. So on, buddy. <laughs> that was awful rude of that. Grinnell interrupted our dad gum <laughs> lesson here. I mean, no, he don't respect his elders or nothing. Actually, he's probably older than both of us, but <laughs> probably he was ugly. <laughs> Them Grinnells, they live a long time, Jack. I'm telling you what, so <laughs> let's try this again. All right, get you get your deal rig back up. We'll got start our, over. Got our uh, brush hog all lined up, good and ready. All right. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna change grass beds. You gonna hit a different different piece of grass? Yeah again watch your slack watch it fall let it sit on the bottom for just a few seconds start hopping it through the grass reel up your slack keep watching your line because at any time he could take it and go now would you rather it fall on slack line or tight line i would rather it fall on slack okay yep why is that that gives it uh, it falls quicker maybe cause a more of a reaction bite and in the event if he takes off he's got some slack to run with it right better chance of getting a good egg set also helps you be a little more thorough when you when it falls on tight line it swings back towards you and there's a bunch of ground you're skipping that you're That's not exactly right covering as That's thoroughly exactly right yeah. skipping skipping some typical fish catch right there I know you guys are going to start suspecting and we just sit here and fish for hours until we get a bite on these things when we're doing this. Hand to the man. On my mama, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> that was his first pitch while he was talking about how to do it. You yeah. literally have seen every, he only made two or three pitches here. And it just happens. There ain't because no trick photography <laughs> here, man. <laughs> we, we just bring guys out here that have a lot of experience. I will not let somebody come on this channel and teach an instructional doesn't have an ample amount of knowledge and experience to help you guys i mean we're not we're not saying that any of us are the best by any means no nowhere near it. that's not what i'm trying to say but we are going to share stuff that we do know about we're not going to get on here and talk to you about something that we're clueless on and old jeff been fishing the texas rig like i said longer than i've been alive on this lake so he knows how to do it out here that's for sure as evidence it's uh it's a 
really fun way to fish it's it's a little bit tricky to learn because everything's on feel i know most of like us, it's such a simple technique but to do it on an advanced level correct. it's advanced yeah yeah, yeah. We're, we're all raised uh, the first time i ever went fishing in my life i was using the bobber caught a brim and i got mumps the same day i was five years old and i've been hooked ever since uh, <laughs> you know but once uh you start doing the texas rig that's where the for me that was my gateway to bass fishing texas rig worm yeah most people first bass was probably caught on texas rig i'm sure my I, I was actually so young i don't remember my first bass that's a cool sense of pride for me that i was yeah. that young but yeah. I, th I think mine was probably on a texas rig bass and most people is, is probably as well so just an awesome technique time tested uh you know just what well, they say kid tested mother approved well, it's time Absolutely. tested and bass approved is the old texas rig with plastic worm so hey jeff appreciate you coming out my brother yes sir thank you so much for doing Enjoy. this you guys look this man up just started a guide service out here we got all his links below we got his phone number below y'all check him out give him a call if you can't get a hold of him give me a call we'll get you lined out with one of us get your old six inch rod get you, you one you didn't have no problem even feeling that griddle bite with that six inch rod. <laughs> Probably felt like you about jerked it out of your hands with a griddle. Mm. Mm. It felt good. I thought, oh boy, here we go. Yeah, and if you are interested in six inch rods or anything else from six inch fishing, when you go to sixcentsfishing.com, which is linked below, be sure to punch in that code, your Lake Fork Guide, on the checkout screen. Get a 10% discount on all orders. Smash Tech Baits link below as well if you're interested in some of their ribbon tail worms. I vouch for those, caught many fish on them. And yeah, Jeff, you're the man. You guys are even more the best, and we'll see you next time right here. Where are we going to see them, Jeff? On your Lake Fork Guy. That's it. <laughs>